In this series, I'm giving my best friend's Triumph Street Triple 675 a little makeover and a freshen up. So far in the series, we've fitted a pair of Michelin Road 6 tyres, repaired the frame crash protectors and given the engine case protectors a new lease of life. We've also fitted a pair of Barracuda handlebars, Belux grips and bar ends and a pair of Barracuda A version Belux mirrors. In the last episode, we fitted paddock stand bobbins to the swinging arm and assembled a rear motorcycle stand and showed you how to use it correctly. In this episode, we're going to show you how to install a Barracuda sports screen, which really transforms the look of the bike. Okay, so I think we have run out of time this evening to fit this. It's no problem, but we've got this fly screen. And the front, uh, so these are the fixing brackets. And there's a couple of um, fixings here that I think we're going to use. I'll have to have a look in, into that in a moment. But that fits over the top of the clock, kind of that like that, something like that. So that's what we've got to um, fix it in position next. So that just sits off of there, which looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It does. Again, Barracuda. Very nice. Yeah. I think it's going to go like that, you know, mate. I might be wrong. That looks nice. It does. It looks very cool. Very mean. <laughs> Okay, so I've just had, without opening this, obviously these two holes here line up with these two holes here, that's a hair. These two holes here line up with that, and then we've got one bolt there that fixes somewhere under there. I reckon we could have a go and look at that now, very quickly. Let's just undo the packaging and um, see how that's going to look. Let's put that in a safe place so we don't scratch that. So we've just looked at the instructions mm -hmm. and um, we've worked out, or the Liska has worked out, that that end there fixes to the fly screen yep. and that fixes to the front light. So what we're going to do now is bolt the, the um, mounting brackets to the fly screen first and uh, follow the instructions and get these all in the right order. So we've just double checked that we've got everything, all the nuts and the bolts and all the washers, which we have. So I'm gonna try and get a close up of this. We've got some rubber washers, so it doesn't um, scratch the fly screen. And then flip underneath, so we can see un underneath. Can you see the blue in there? That's nylon, these are called nylon washers. So the idea of that blue is uh, if the bike is shaking and rattling, the nuts and bolts can come loose and that nylon will stop them from coming loose. That's what that's all about. This is a bit of a two-person job, isn't it, matey? Yeah. And uh, we've got the socket, the ratchet. This is holding that position, so we're just going to tighten that up. And rotate that round. It's good and the fixings look good, don't they? Mm -hmm. Nice, okay, we need to see how we're gonna fix it on the bike. So Liske, we've protected the main work. Yeah. We've got some bolts holding the lights in. Mm -hmm. um, we've got this socket, which as you know, we've just loosened this one because they're hard to get to. Yeah. But if you put that underneath, you know, lock that in position, hold that in place, then you can, do you mind holding this one? Um, oh, so the top one. Oh, the top one, yeah. For me, thank you. They have supplied longer bolts, so let me show you. 
thing what we do they're not going to fall out famous last words let's put this one underneath here this is going to be tight this one you got that yep there you go that's it Once that's loose, I try to try do it um, by using my finger. It's the less chance of banging and damaging anything, really. <laughs> He's just now that comes out. Right now, we want to see if we can offer this up. So, do you um, want me to hold the lights while you put them on? Or? The lights should be okay. It's just making sure we get that room there. Yeah. Working that in position. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That's Turn roughly together. roughly in position, isn't it? Yeah. Now I've got these longer We've got these longer bolts here now. Yeah. Right, so we've double checked the instructions. We've got these spacers that sit on top of the light. Two of those. Yeah. Then we've got the extended new bolts which are going to sit one on that side on this side so you try and get that lined up push through so yeah we'll maybe push we leave it so it's not going all the way through for a minute we'll try and work that into it like that there we go let me get one in there we go and then that side, can you see that side? Yeah, I can see it. It's just that this side is not going through. We'll yeah. just give that a little bit of, squeeze that a little bit. That's it. That is the, yeah, hold on. It's just because that, I'm just going to do that. There you go, because that's got some, you can be able to just push down, it's not a thread as such. There you go. They're nice and neat, aren't they? Mm, the brackets really are really nice, nice and neat. Yeah, yeah. So now we just need to fix those back in position. As Twinny just said to me, we haven't got new bolts in the um, pack, which is fine. So we're just going to take off, we're just going to use these, throw them away. And we've got the washers and the nuts. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've seen some dirt. It's underneath the headlight, but I might as well wipe it off. Let's do this side. Oh, Both at the same time? Yeah, if you can get in there. There we go. Get that finger tight. Man, it's looking really nice. You can see there, that's fixed it down there, look. That's the one thing we probably need to make sure that And it goes up underneath there. It's hard to see. This one gets some light. But once you're doing the job, you see it's a lot, you know, it's, it's not so complicated really. It's just two nuts and bolts. So before we get the socket on there and um, tighten those up, we just want to make sure that the headlights are roughly pointing in the right direction. <laughs> that looks right, doesn't it? I think so. Change it over. So the one does one way, lift you, way to, way to lift you, Lucy. Actually, let's put a little extension bar on there. And be careful of the paintwork. You can see why I like to put um, a cover on the paintwork. Mm -hmm. Am I going the right way? I'm not. <laughs> to save me turning the ratchet, I can use my fingers to turn this bit until the last minute and then start moving it okay how's that yes yeah, so that's sitting nice and square in there yeah yeah fire screen okay do you want to take the uh towel for the paint how does that look i love it I think it looks awesome it's really cool. Yeah, 
It really does finish it off, doesn't it? I've never had a fly screen before, so it is kind of nice. Yeah. And I don't really like the original teardrop kind of design okay. on the Triumphs, so this is more my style. Yeah, perfect then. Look at that. Well, do you mind moving those scissors for me, matey? Yeah. Thank you. Look at that. Really nice. It gives it a little bit of a definitely a Batman yeah. look again, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And again, it that's does. that's what I like about my um speed. He's got that kind of different it's different style, it's not tinted, but it's got that kind of look to it. Definitely very Batman. Now I just need my tinted visor on eh? Yeah. yeah. On your helmet. Yeah. Twenty so we've decided to push the bike out to show you guys how it's looking so far. It's not quite finished yet, is it? No. Nope. So we're cleaning up the engine, put some covers over the engine protectors, and the engine casing, and I've got some ideas about a belly pan as well. But I need to think about that. But we've fitted the fly screen, which, yes. what do you think? Yeah. Looks amazing. It does. So we've got the mirrors on and I think we're on a little bit of a slope so you're hold, making sure that the bike doesn't roll forward on the paddock stand but uh, I think now we need to take the plastic off the mirrors and uh, yeah looking amazing yeah, yeah it's looking good so something else I've remembered we're going to come around here for the MOT yeah. We put on the rear pillion foot pegs, yeah. which were off before, but we had to put them on for the MOT and they've stayed on. Yeah. So um, I'll take those off soon as well. Yeah. That will clean up the lines as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, obviously we've got the Michelin Row 6 rubber on there, which look amazing and they feel great. I can't wait for you to ride that. But we we'll finish off doing all the little tweaks to the bike cosmetically. Then we'll go out for a ride, film that, but yeah, the bars, the throttle grips, all the grips, the barings look yeah, absolutely really stunning, don't they? episode I'm not only going to show you how to clean your bike but how to make it look better than ever thanks as always for watching I look forward to seeing you in the next episode very soon subscribe like and comment